This is a T cell W. The T cell W is a beta key from T that has been released on June 2019. This is said to be an upgraded version of the original T cell, which was released back then in 2015. Compared to all the, the newer speed cubes, is this a really good beta key? Let's find out in this video. It's a long way down. You can purchase this cube for $4 anywhere which is a pretty reasonable amount for a really good budget cube. This cube comes in black and white. I got mine in black and unfortunately there's no cigarettes. Uh, this uh, cube weighs 79.5 grams and has the normal Moe Chi shade. And its dimensions are 56 millimeters on each side. Out of the box, the turning of the T shell W was pre is pretty good. It was smooth, but it was also really sandy. I thought to solve the sandy problem, I thought and Lube would solve it, but uh, it actually really didn't. It actually made the uh, it actually made the cube more smoother, which is a good thing. But it also made the cube more sandier, which is a, a bad thing. The turning kind of reminded me of the YZ Suong, but more smoother and better. Corner cutting on this cube is not that great, and it's the worst aspect of this cube. As you can see, it cannot cut 45. And even though I loosened the tensions, it still didn't corner cut 45 with such. So the corner cutting is just meh. It kind of reminds me of the YJ Sulong, as you can see here. Cannot cut 45. Corner cut here, which is good. However, it can reverse cut due to the Florian holes. See here? And compared to the Sulong, it did. The stability on this cube is alright, not the best, just like on any other budget cube. And the stability kind of reminds me of the MFURS, which didn't have that good stability as you can see here. As you can see, it's fairly stable, not really stable. Kind of reminds me of the MFURS. Now, are there any other things I should say about this cube? Well, one thing, uh, two things I like about this cube is that pops are non existent. Like, we Turn with all your force, like if you try to turn really roughly, you won't get a single pop, you only get catches, and that's because of the non-cut 45. As you can see, the edge is uh, really put in place, like you have to have lots of force to pull out an edge piece, I won't put it, pull it out. And same for corner twists, the corner twists are non-existent, and if you try to grip on the corner piece and you try to twist it, then it might break. I will know I won't do that. Because if it breaks, I'll be so pissed off. Now to show you the overall performance, I will do a solve. Do I recommend this cube? Yes, if you are a beginner. If you want, if you're a beginner who wants a cube that has really good turning, decent corner cutting, decent stability, and anti popping and quarter twisting mechanism, then definitely go for this. The original Seattle is uh, really inferior compared to this. This is just a beast compared to the original sale. And I also recommend it if you're a collector. Like if you want to collect all budget cubes from different companies, then I definitely recommend this. And no, I won't recommend it if you are a serious cuber. Due to the non-cut 45 issue, I won't recommend you to buy this. However, uh, if you don't really care about corner cutting and if you are a serious speed cuber, then just go for it. Uh, if you don't really care about the corner cutting of cubes, then just get it. Uh, just get this cube and start playing with it. So that is about it I have to say about the TCLW. Really good performing budget cube, you should definitely buy it. Comment below your thoughts on the TCLW. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.